introduced to songwriting, spoken word, poetry, and busking. Songwriting, I, I guess when I was a kid, um, or when you go to school, uh, maraming mga projects, uh, parang group projects or so, and then usually I like doing creative outputs. So I always like creating songs or poetry or like skits. Sobrang favorite ko yun. Laging ako yung mag-raise hand for that. Ako yung leader, ganoon. Kasi basta pag arts or anything creative, sobrang, woof, yes. Um, so that that's how it started. I guess I took it seriously probably around six, seven years ago as well. Di man, mga ganun. Um, I wrote my first song because of a breakup. Lol, life. Gabi, gabi talaga nagagawa ng, ng hurt, guys. So, um, always know that whatever that you're going through, every challenge, every pain, you can use that as a strength to make something better. Yes, all right. Um, spoken word poetry. I remember back in uh, first year college, I, I loved um, watching Sarah K and Phil K. And I remember telling myself that I, you know, I really want to stand in front of a stage and do poetry. So spoken word poetry was still a baby back then. Um, Juan Miguel Severo was one of the pioneers of that, I guess, in the Philippines kasi parang after after that, a lot of people were also encouraged. So that's one of the things that us artists um, really want to do is to help and influence people to create as well, to share their story through art. Um, and yeah, and busking. Busking was introduced to me by Martin. Um, and I think um, at that point, I really just wanted a stage that was safe enough to share your story, your songs, and, and you know, not care about what other people think. And that's one of the things that I miss. Lalo na kasi this pandemic, we're all at home and hindi tayo makalabas. So, paano yung, paano yung street performances mo? Um, so, that's really something very exciting to see how it would turn out, you know, once the vaccine's here and everything. So, busking, busking, I started um, because of because of, of an inspiration as well. So thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you to Juan Miguel and to everybody else who was creating back then, who inspired the artists of today to create as well. Um, what came first, writing songs or poetry? I think writing poetry. I always loved writing short stories when I was a kid. Um, and then I started writing poetry. Um, then, you know, because writing always turns other things into more beautiful, amazing stuff. So, yes. Nauna ang writing. Poetry. <laughs> what is busking and how do you do it? What is busking? Hmm, let's see. Busking is um, a form of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. 20% in my battery. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, busking is um, a form of street performance. So, you perform the streets. Um, you, you, It's usually done with an open guitar case or an open um, box or something. Um, and then you just perform without or with the mic. And um, a lot of people do it. You know, it, it's one of the ways you can earn money. It's one of the ways that you can express your art. Um, uh, I personally do it to spread the awareness um, that, you know, busking is another form or another free stage where people can express. Uh, so please don't forget to like the busking community PH as well. And um, yeah, so anyone can busk. Um, you know, you just gotta give your soul out there and just let go. What are your top five busking places? Top five. Wait lang, sorry. Na-conscious ako dun sa pimple ko. <laughs> Ganun talaga pag may mask. So guys, don't forget to clean your face. Oh my gosh. Anyway, alright. Um, top five busking places. Pinoval. My first ever busking place was actually in in front of you, uh, Uptown. Uptown Mall, BGC. And then High Street is also nice. Parade. Puro BGC, sorry. Oh, sige. Pinoval. There was this one spot um, sa May Pasay. Forgot the place. But, um, tapos, sorry, ang dami sinabi. And then, dal ko talaga. Ah, okay. Plus, yung fifth one would be my favorite, which is one of the places that I would go to after work. So, I would go to Venice Grand Canal. I would bring my guitar, I'd have my laptop bag, kasi, and then I'd be in medyo semi-corporate out. <laughs> and then I would just play there for two hours. Kasi, you know, busking is a 
is a form of release as well. So it gives you a breather from life, just like the beach. So yes. Okay. Um, and uh, one of the things I also loved about busking is that you can busk anywhere, uh, as long as you can naman mapapagsabihan or something. Um, as long as you have the proper permits, I guess. And um, you can basically bus anywhere. Um, we've done it in Ifugao, Batangas, um, Palawan, to name a 